Well folks, today I want to talk about turtle soup. This is going to be an absolutely massive episode. Uh, you may ask why this is going to be such a big episode. Well, there's one reason and one reason only. Jamie's going to get his shirt off again. Now, I'm currently in a little village called Cramond. Now, it's actually situated within the boundaries of Edinburgh, so it's still classed as Edinburgh. But it is separate. Now it's very popular with locals who come here for a beer or a cup of tea and they come for a walk along Cramond. Now Cramond actually has a little island that you can walk across to at low tide, but the water's currently in so I can't cross over to it. Now a lot of people have got stuck on this island because when the tide comes in it's pretty deep and you'll have to either swim for it or we'll wait till the tide goes out again in about six to 12 hours. Now of course at this point, Claire finds herself on board the Artemis and the Artemis is traveling between Barbados and Jamaica ferrying bat guano for the plantation fields. Now you got to remember at this point that they're still looking for young Ian who has disappeared and he may be possibly on the Bruja as Claire finds herself in a new part of the world and in a completely different era and she comes across an auction and she absolutely freaks out because obviously slavery in our modern day is supposedly not existing anymore but uh, she can't deal with this and causes a massive scene and Jamie is forced to buy one of the slaves that is up for auction it is during this event that uh, they actually learn that the Bruja is in dock and they go over to this ship to see if they can find young Yen and there's loads of dead bodies on the wharf there and they go and check these dead bodies to make sure that Ian is not one of them now this whole experience triggers Jamie's PTSD from the Battle of Culloden and it sets him off so it'd be interesting to see how he recovers from this little episode now of course Claire being Claire she tries to free this slave and causes great fuss and this confuses the other people around her because they know that there'll be no future for this slave if he's freed considering that he's only got one arm as well many people who have read the book have felt very uncomfortable with this particular scenario so it may not appear in this actual episode itself now it's during this episode that pirates from the Bruja board the Artemis and a big fight ensues and in the process Claire is quite badly wounded she has her arm sliced open. Now it's interesting to see that both Jamie and Claire both have received arm wounds in the various episodes and both need to be treated with penicillin. So I don't know if that was intentional, but it is a coincidence anyway. Seems that they're doing some work up ahead. And now unfortunately the entire scene has been ruined here. That's a shame. All of this is leading to the big love scene that is to follow and this is what all the fans of Jamie are waiting for after Clara is attacked she complains that her arm is sore and Jamie remarks well if your arm is sore then at least you're not gonna die because if it was gonna be fatal you wouldn't feel a thing Apparently they're doing all the work here to improve the, the spawning of the salmon which need to run up this river and currently it's very difficult for them to get up here. So they're going to make a, a salmon ladder by the looks of it. Now 
of course it's at this point that Claire realizes that her wound is now infected and she's starting to develop a fever and she tries to get Jamie to give her an injection of penicillin but he's too scared to do this but eventually he sees how much pain that Claire is in and he has to give it to her now that noise you can hear that's the aeroplanes coming in low it's because the airport is very close to here okay. now I would have loved to have sent the drone up but uh, since the airport is so close that would be very dangerous and also very illegal so I'm not gonna bother and since the tides in anyway we can't get to the island there's no point but this is a beautiful part of Edinburgh and in fact not many locals know about it now after Jamie gives Claire the injection Claire becomes a bit delirious and her fever really takes hold so Jamie decides to make some soup turtle soup to try and get her better but uh, they add a lot of alcohol to this turtle soup and of course the combination of Claire being sick the alcohol in the soup and the penicillin makes things a whole lot worse Now, in a feverish state, Claire becomes a bit frisky. And at first, Jamie wants nothing to do with this. He feels very uncomfortable. But uh, she can be a very persistent woman. Now, Claire is very drunk and she does stuff she wouldn't normally do. And Jamie finds himself in a situation where he just cannot resist. It is at this point that he decides to lock the door so that nobody can come in and disturb them. Now in the book, one of the crew members comes to the door and Jamie finds himself in a very, very awkward situation. Claire's on her knees, pleasing Jamie, and he's trying to have a conversation through the door at the same time. Now I suspect in the TV series they're not going to be that explicit. But I can't imagine or maybe I can, I don't know. Being in that kind of situation must be very off-putting. Anyway, the two end up making passionate love while the boat is swaying backwards and forwards. So just at this point, I'm curious to know, has anybody eaten turtle soup before? I haven't. And I don't think it's something I'd like to try because turtles are endangered in most places of the world and we don't need to eat them but in the past i know that people used to eat them so it will just be interesting to know if somebody has ever eaten turtle soup it's hard to believe that this walk is right on the edge of edinburgh and very few people come here now it's at the end of this episode that claire and jamie start discussing their future they know they can't go to scotland for obvious reasons and they can't go to England for the very same reasons and it's getting way too complicated and dangerous where they are now so Claire suggests to Jamie that they go to the colonies in America but Jamie's not happy about this because he thinks it's a backward place but Claire assures him that there are many large towns now during that time in America and that they should make a go of it